Hello friends, welcome to OpenStack training brought to you by theskillpedia.com. Theskillpedia.com is a platform for online training and learning. To learn latest technology, you join theskillpedia.com. This training is on, this particular session is on Horizon dashboard for OpenStack. What we have covered so far in previous lectures, we have set up three machines. We have installed prerequisites, MariaDB, ETCD, Memcache, and Rabbit Message Queue. After that, we also configured and installed, installed and configured Glance Image Service and other services. Let's take a look what we have done so far. Switch to normal user stack. I am logged into my CentOS machine. This is one of the virtual machine out of three machines which I have created for this purpose according to session one. And now I am logged in as stack user in CentOS 8 where I have configured uh, this machine is working as a controller. So let's source the script where we have environment variables. And now I can check OpenStack service list. This will give you the list of services we have configured so far. So after the, these services are configured, like NOAA compute is configured, Keystone identity is configured, Glance image service configured, Neutron network configured, and placement is configured. Now if you see OpenStack catalog list, you will see the catalog which will see the endpoints and the service details complete. OpenStack catalog list. So this is our catalog with the endpoints. We have done all these things. Now we would like to see everything through the dashboard. That is Horizon dashboard. So let's configure Horizon dashboard. So for that first switch to the root user, install some software and configure the files. Let's start with the installation of the software. DNF-Y install OpenStack dashboard. Once the installation is done, we'll edit the file. 81 packages, 28 MB download size, 120 MB, 122 MB installation size. Installation of package is complete. Now let's edit the file. OpenStack dashboard, etc. OpenStack dashboard, local settings. And this is a file, very important file where we have to configure. First setting is uh, allowed host. To allow all the host, what we should specify, it is allowing only local host or horizon.example.com. We can simply remove this example local host from this line and put star here. So let's put star. And star means allow from anywhere. All right, allowed host star means allowed from anywhere. And then next step is cache. We need to enable this cache. So uncomment these lines, caches. Remember backend design go and important point here is uh, the location. Location it should be controller or the IP address of the machine which is uh, 10.0.0.11. This is the mem cache actually. So let me write the controller here. Controller 11211. So uh, that is uh, cache settings. Then we need to go to 
another setting which is a session engine session engine uh, engine is good uh, that is uh, signed cookies instead of this our cache is not this let's copy paste this line keep the line commented and let's add it our own settings our session is in session engine is backend cache so we'll use our cache this is our cache rather than cookies so our session engine is Django contribute sessions backends cache then we need to go to another settings and here we have the settings open host and our open stack open host is controller open stack host is controller open stack URL is good for us we can keep this keystone URL Let's keep the, our Keystone OpenStack Keystone URL as the def, uh, you know custom settings for our requirement. Controller 5000 slash version three. Then let's go to another settings. Time zone. Our time zone. My time zone is Asia. Kolkata. Let's set the time zone and then we go to the end of the line, end of the file and we add our own custom setting at the end of this file where we specify web host and other settings. So web root dashboard, login URL dashboard auth login logout URL, login redirect, OpenStack Keystone multi-domain support, Keystone default domain, OpenStack API versions, and then Neutron specific settings, enable auto-allocated network, distributed routers, FTP topology, high availability router, IPv6, enable quotas, all these settings. So the settings which we have and then save the file then we need to go to the line related to dashboard httpd conf openstack dashboard.conf file where we have to make some settings in this file also and here we have to add a few lines at this line we should add some settings here for our dashboard this line was missing so we added this line and once it is done we uh, restart our Apache service and then also we enable security enhanced Linux boolean to allow HTTPD can network connect on if it is not already set after the service is restarted we enable the security enhanced line Linux boolean HTTPD can network connect on and of course we must not forget the firewall HTTP and HTTPS should be enabled now firewall and reload the firewall now let's do, try to access the dashboard so it's not working in HTTP. Let's try to access using HTTPS. Okay, it works with HTTPS. Login ad admin password. 
okay so this is our dashboard working friends you see what all we configure you can see everything here like in networking we configured routers you know networks not router route uh, subnet one we created right so all these things we created similarly compute under compute you can see the image we, we created one image also here the zero s image is available here and uh, networking network done topology done now we have successfully completed this part and the dashboard is now working uh, let me just uh, verify once again what i did uh, what the, are the settings in uh, local settings file let me give you a shortcut method to check that we can use grab hyphen o and then in double quote you can specify uh, line beginning with then caret symbol hash means uh, not hash other than hash they will show all uncommented line followed by any number of characters and then this is the file so this will show all the uncommented lines so here if you look at here what we added this is our settings so far we set this allowed host from everywhere so we use star then uh, secret key that was default we added session engine we uncommented these lines then email backend that was their open slack host is controller and the keystone url is controller colon 5000 slash v3 the time zone which i configured and after that uh, i went to the straight to the last of the file and i added few lines myself which is a web root login url logout url login redirect and the other settings so this is the file configuration file for local settings that's all for this session uh, i'm sure you like the session and you see the dashboard working very well only thing which i noticed uh, when i was trying to access it through http it was not working so if i try again directly with the ip address 10.0.0.11 slash dashboard it is not working I, that is that was a bit surprising for me i was uh, trying to figure out but then finally when we access it through https it is working so i still have to why it is not working just drop me a message in the comment thank you so much now https is working if you use https then it is working all right thank you so much for watching bye bye